the M110 is a DMR known for its ability to two-shot body shot opponents. This makes it the most unique option amongst the DMRs, but is it worth using? Let's find out. The M110 has a great ability to two-shot against unarmoured or broken armoured opponents. Despite this being a two-shot kill, its time to kill is actually the same as the EBR and worse than the SVD. If an opponent has any body armour, the M110 jumps to 3 bullets to kill and a minimum time to kill of 600 milliseconds if body shotting. It also jumps to 4 bullets and 900 milliseconds against support, which is over twice as long as the SVT would take to kill the support. Because the M110's rate of fire is so low compared to every other DMR at only 200 rounds a minute, feel every single extra shot to kill or miss shot. A 600 millisecond time to kill is dreadfully slow, and opponents can and will turn around and kill you back before your third shot up close. So for body shotting, the 2 hit kill option is the only kill speed that is comparable to the other DMRs. If you are body shotting against armour, all the other DMRs are better choices. Ok sure, but DMRs are not really meant for body shotting, so now let's look at the DMR headshot comparison chart. This chart is for a headshot with a follow up body shot, as usually the opponent will start to evade after your initial shot. We can see that M110 puts in a great performance here with 127 damage. This means it will reliably chew through most player setups with a fair amount of consistency, only not killing default assault and exo support players. Snipers have a hit point pool of 112, so the M110 is able to two shot them with one headshot and one body shot. The Mark 20 can also do this, and it has less recoil and a faster rate of fire, so it can perform the same headshot body shot combo with a faster speed than the M110. I also want to note snipers run empty helms but have body armour, so the M110 can't two shot a distant sniper without a headshot, unless you know their plates have already been broken. It very often can two hit shot snipers as they do commonly hit each other in the body, but it's still unreliable at achieving a two hit kill against them. An example of that is on screen now. Oh, come on. I use an ACOG sight with a canted red dot on top for closer range engagements. I run the flash hider, but running either suppressor is also a valid choice. The stable grip lowers the M110's first shot kick, allowing follow up shots to be made easier at range. I personally run quick mags for movement speed, recoil, and aim bonuses but 8 rounds is quite small. Normal mags are also a good option, but I wouldn't recommend extended mags due to their recoil penalties. So, despite a lot of players being drawn to the M110 for its ability to two-shot body shot, I would argue this is actually not that great a feature of it, as it kills unarmoured at the same speed as other DMRs shooting three times, and it's awful if you do hit any body armour. To get reliable kills with the M110, Headshotting is required, and I'd argue that M110 is the most headshot reliant weapon out of every DMR if you value consistency, due to its poor time to kill against armour. There is one workaround however, not every part of the body is armoured in battle bit. If you shoot a player in the arms or legs, it counts as unarmoured damage. This means the M110 can two shot against anyone, even exo supports, if you're able to shoot them in the legs. I would suggest to use the M110 in two ways. The first is supporting the bulk of your team to fight the bulk of the enemy team, where opponents will commonly have broken armour, allowing you to easily get two hit body shots. The second is long range counter sniping, with its ability to reliably headshot body shot combo, and sometimes it can still two hit body shot snipers too. Other DMR's faster rate of fire aren't able to be used as well at these ranges due to their recoil. In the background is a clip of me setting up on Wacky Bridge and using a barricade to only engage a small amount of the enemy team at the same time. The M110 feels a lot like a sniper and you will want to play carefully and use cover. Another reason you will want to build cover is because if you are running light armour, which I recommend, you will only get 3 magazines with this weapon. This makes using a small ammo box vital as you only get 24 shots before you run out if you are using short mags. Overall, I think the M110 is in a tricky spot. Its two shot kills feel great to achieve, but it is inconsistent against armour, 
and I personally prefer the consistency of other DMRs more. Its use case is headshotting at longer ranges where its rifles cannot fire at their full speed anyway, but the Mark 20 feels just as potent at these ranges without the same drawbacks this weapon has against armour. If you'd like to see how I use the Mark 20, a card will appear on screen now. In this next clip, I used the M110 for long distance sniping and racked up quite a few kills. Thanks for watching. Him. There's a guy man's car. Got him once. Uh, off. No, like him. Finished him. We need a barricade on this side because I'm getting shot from someone. Oh, got him. But I actually think the 1DMR along with two snipers is a really good combo because I can do like quicker shots. Like if you body shot, I just got that guy in two. Because it's so like, foggy, it might actually help us pick him out. Yeah. Got him. <laughs> Took me eight shots, but I got him. Got him. Do it again. God, okay. <laughs> 